can't believe you're really doing it. I know. I've been thinking about closing this place ever since David and I separated. The first time. <laughs> yeah, well, it's never too late to find you happy, right? Yeah. I think it's time to move on. Thinking of moving on, what's going on with you and Sam? Nothing. We went out, I had a great time, and clearly I'm way more into him than he's into me. Yeah, we've been really busy at work. Mm-hmm. What? I know when you're lying, Steph. What? We've been busy. Okay. Well, you should be happy. I'm not fooling around with your coworker anymore. Yeah, well, I know that you liked him. On the bright side, I never had to have the HIV conversation with him. How do you have that conversation? I don't know. I've only done it once. What you haven't... I can't. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> hey mom, how's the weather? Oh yeah, your daughter was stupid and got HIV from her cheating husband. But you are not stupid. You just trusted your damn husband and it's not your fault. You know how many women have HIV? I'm just trying to be normal. Stop saying that. You're not normal. But not because you have HIV. You're not normal because you leave in your comfort zone and fighting for your passion of helping people. So yeah, that's not normal. You know, when I first found out, I spent six months preparing to die. All I could think about was what I hadn't done and what I was never gonna be able to do. And then I really had to change my energy. I knew if I was gonna survive, I had to start living. Yeah, it takes courage to live. Oh, I need to go. I have a Reiki session early in the morning tomorrow. Reiki? Yeah, it's really been helping me balance my energy. <laughs> yeah, actually, you should try it, Steph. With everything going on with your mom and work and Corey. <sighs> I don't want to talk about Corey. See? You need to get rid of all of that negative energy. No, I need to get rid of his broke ass. <laughs> I like Corey. Yeah, I like him too, but like don't pay the bills. I haven't slept that good in weeks. You're not sleeping? I haven't putting all my energy into Epstein. Oh, Stephanie, that's not good. You have to find a balance. Yeah, work was a good distraction, but I needed this. I've been working through all of my lunches for the past two weeks. Yes. Thank you for inviting us to your private session. Oh, you should thank my assistant, Annabelle. She thought I needed to relax before my big presentation tomorrow. How long are you in town? Just two days. I'm leaving tomorrow night. You should come with us to our couple's dinner tonight. Uh, Kanisha is busy. She probably needs to prepare for her presentation. Couples? Mom. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you still seeing Corey? Why haven't I met him yet? Even Mama met him when she was here. Well, it's not my fault that you had to leave early, and besides, Mama not as bad as you are. Uh, what are you talking about? Kanisha, you know you're judgmental. Uh, well, if he's Mr. Right, then I won't have anything to judge. He's definitely not Mr. Right. See, I that's what I'm saying. I like Corey. He's good for you. Mama did say she liked him. 
yeah, well, I just, I need more. All right, everything is back to normal at work and Corey is just still. The same Corey that you first met. Exactly, he loves you. Love has never paid a bill. Exactly. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. I, look, is it so wrong for me to just want it all? No, it's not wrong. You deserve it. Thank you. I don't know if that's even a thing anymore. Sometimes you have to sacrifice for love, make compromises. It's easy for women with successful men to say that we should settle for love. I'm just saying, normal doesn't, normal doesn't work for everybody. Oh, I definitely need to try something different than what I'm doing then, because I am drained. Yeah. After Malcolm and I finished counseling, I felt like I still wanted something more. So, I started to see someone. You cheating on Malcolm? <laughs> no! Uh, I'm seeing a therapist. Oh, uh-uh. Stephanie is fine. If you need to talk to somebody, you need to get on your knees and talk to God. Kanisha, there are lots of different approaches to spiritual healing. Yes, don't. You just have to stay open. Spiritual healing? I told you. Oh, Lord. Next thing you know, you're going to be calling God the universe. <laughs> Come on now. What's wrong with the universe? I told you. <laughs> So tell me, what brought you here today? Well, my friend Leslie told me she came to see you and I just want to know if things will get, get better. Well, let's see. Give me your hands. Let's feel your energy. Ooh, I'm picking up a lot of negative energy from you. Negative? Mm. Where are you going? You have to be open. Stop running away from things because they're not normal to you. It's okay to try something new. I don't think this was a good idea. Look, I know it's not something that we normally do, but I'm telling you, I'm starting to change my perspective on things. Look, I have to get back to work. Yeah, I need to get back to the office. Well, it was so good seeing you, Kanisha. You too. Sorry our time was so short. Take care. Yeah, you too. I will see you tonight, Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kanisha, can we switch weekends at the end of the month? I'm getting ready for this big campaign. Of course. Oh, and I talked to the doctor this morning. He says Mama's doing a lot better. See? God does answer prayers. Mm -hmm. True. Spiritual healing. So, Goddess Stephanie, tell me, what brings you to the healing room today? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I, I don't really know what Reiki is, actually. Well, Reiki is a form of energy healing where I just run hands across you, working with your own energy force, where I help to just move the energies in your body to find more balance and wholeness, working along with your own life force energy just to bring you to a state of calm and peace. Okay, I like the sound of peace. I'm glad that you do. So tell me, what's going on with you? Well, my mother's sick and um, she has cancer and I'm in this relationship that I don't think I should be in and I'm working at this job that I thought I wanted and it's just taking a lot out of me and I don't know, it's just a lot of energies going on and I, I, don't, I don't know how to balance them. Well, this is definitely the perfect place for you to be so you can bring some balance and some wholeness and more so peace in your life right now. Sounds good? Peace sounds good. Good. Well, let's get started. I have to stop feeding myself with normal. I've become overweight with the addiction of having it all. But all is just an illusion weighed down by normal. How do you shed the weight gain from the consumption of fatty goals filled with empty calories? How do you resist the sweet temptation of ordinary dreams and natural desires? How do you exercise your happy without having it all? Normal forces your spirit into fields of regret by feasting on your potential energy. 
it's time to confront my reflection and balance my weight. I have to be open to healthy choices for my healing. I have to start working out my energy. I have to feed my constant hunger with substance because even though I know it's not good for me, I'm still craving a piece of normal. I am grateful for energy.